Hello, hello, this is Mike Kralix here. Welcome to episode 5 of Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And in this episode, we'll finalize building our base here. And as you can probably notice, I have built up a large base here. I have made all of these torches. I, I just blowed through a bunch of the torches and uh, made several stacks. I think I made two and a half stacks of torches. Um, I also built this house right here. I filled it all up with torches and uh, I put a bunch of doors on here, which uh, ate almost all of my wood. I practically don't have any wood left, and I now have to go collect some wood. Um, so I'm not actually done completely lighting the area. I'm going to need more torches, of course. I uh, usually count out four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then on the fifth block I place it. Oh, I actually can place a torch here because I think that, wait, can I place a pressure plate here or should I place it here? Well, actually, I'm just going to ignore that, oh, whatever, um, because I'm planning to place a pressure plate here and here, just a, a stone pressure plate. Um, so that items can activate it, and then so that I won't have to open the door every time I want to enter in and out. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. I don't know what's that sound. I think that something's wrong with my uh, speakers. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Yeah, I think my uh, speaker cable kind of got like twisted a bit, so it's making weird noises. Just uh, I don't know if you can hear it on the mic or not. Probably not again. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm just gonna think. Oh yes, as you can see, I have already made a pattern here, and uh, I like having everything in a pattern just so it would be aesthetically pleasing. And of course, I just recently talked about how um, aesthetically pleasing things are a waste of resources. However, uh, this has a technical purpose and this is meant to make sure that no mobs spawn because if I just start spamming torches down everywhere then um, I'm going to run out of torches very quickly and they're not going to actually prevent any mob spawnage. So anyway, it looks like I'm done with placing the torches here. I think I will also have to place torches around the perimeter of this house too. I think something like so, and also I will have to place torches on top of the house as well, so just to make sure no mobs spawn, so. Uh, but I am kind of running out of torches now, so uh, my number one mission now will be to actually gather wood while it's still daytime. And so near every single door, I will place a ladder up there just in case. Um, and I'm just making this for convenience purposes just so I can get up easily. I won't put one here because there's already one there. Um, I'm just making this for convenience purposes just so it'd be easier to climb up and down. Um, because uh, I will have to climb up and down quite often because maybe I'm planning to just put some more extra storage here, maybe just bulk chests here. So uh, I'm also running out of uh, food too, so yeah. And I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I actually built an underground tunnel. I built a tunnel from my base over there in the blacksmith chest. So where, so basically I built uh, an underground tunnel from the blacksmith house over there where my other base is to uh, this area right here. So now that I can have fast access back and forth and I don't have to deal with the slimes, which is completely great because I don't even have to leave the comfort of my home. Um, and of course I have this little... Uh... No. 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 Wow. I was... How did that light? How? I have... But I have the... But I have... I thought that this prevents it from lighting. Okay, what's burning? No. No. Ooh, that was a close call. I guess I'm just going to have to replace this with cobblestone to make sure nothing burns down. Well, most of my house is actually made out of cobble, so that's no problem. Um, so, like I said before, I have to... Uh, let me just place some st stuff right here. Uh, okay, I have a stone axe. I think I'm going to craft another stone axe just in case if that one breaks. Um, then, of course, I'll have to take more cobblestone. I also want to collect more carrots just so I can have more food. Um, that was pretty scary when it just started lighting up. I really thought my house was going to burn down, so... 
Yeah, I gotta be careful for that. Well, this is kind of this is this isn't really my permanent residence, so I'm not too worried about it. Yep. So let me see. Let me just collect real quick. Getting all these logs right here. I'm trying to avoid. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that wasn't the best thing to do, but I don't think I lost too much stuff. Okay, let me just collect all my stuff here. I didn't have that much resources. No. No. Oh my god, I hate slime so much. Ah, this is exactly why I built such a tall wall around my house to make sure that this stuff doesn't happen. Okay, this is time to retaliate. I'm gonna grab some resources, but I don't have any... Oh, let's see, I have some... Uh, because I'm gonna take some uh, cobblestone. I'm gonna take some uh, wood planks from somewhere. Let's see. Okay, where can I grab some wood from? Okay, I'm gonna grab some wood from here, just to make sure that... Uh, I'm also gonna make a crafting. I'm also gonna make a crafting table so I can make a sword because uh, I have to retaliate to the slime's aggression. I cannot let the slimes push me around like this anymore. I'm just gonna start annihilating them. Uh, let me just craft a crafting table real quick. Uh, I also took some cobblestone with me just so I can like um, craft uh, a, a wooden uh, s sword. So. Okay, let's see. This seems like enough wood here. So I'm just gonna craft two just in case because... Oh wait, no, I forgot. This is not how you make them. Make them like this. So now let me go get my stuff back before they despawn. I don't think they're gonna despawn that quickly. I mean, there is a five minute um, time limit. So I don't think they're gonna despawn really quickly. So I'm just gonna have to make sure to kill off all the most of the big slimes and almost like the one here just to make sure um, they don't pose too much of a threat to me just run real quick around right here I knew that this might end in disaster so uh, uh, the slimes are oh so overwhelming okay yeah now if I get hit by a big slime several times. I think if I get hit once, maybe, by the slime, I'm gonna die, so I have to be... Nope. Okay, now I'm just gonna run around, now that all these slimes are little. Gather most of the resources that I can here. Get my sword from here. Get some wood from right over here. And yeah, looks like I can now safely return back to my base. If I can actually get inside my base, because, uh... Damn it. Yes, I'm safe now. Wow, that was a close call. I didn't have any pickaxe there. Uh, so now, unfortunately, we don't have that much materials. Uh, we are still pretty low on materials, uh, so... Yeah. Um, I know I'm cutting this... I think I'm gonna cut this episode a bit short. Because I do want to collect more cobblestone for my base over there. I will continue building my base right there. I'm gonna put up down some... Uh, I'm gonna put down some more uh, chests, I'm gonna make some storage there, I'm gonna collect a bunch of cobblestone for my mob grinder, uh, I might build a mob grinder, I don't know, um, it's not that interesting to watch me watch a mo it's not that interesting to watch me build a mob grinder because uh, I'm just placing blocks down, so, I'm just gonna do a bunch of off-camera work uh, in the middle of this episode, so, uh, I hope all of you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. This was Minecraft Alex, uh, and I'm out.